Hello, everyone. I'm super excited uh, about this webinar today. We'll talk about uh, Q4 and it's coming. And uh, thank you for taking time and joining us. I hope it will be super helpful and interesting. So uh, let's go directly to the topic. Oh, it was on the last slide. Sorry about that. Okay, so today, yeah, technical issues, I'm fine. Okay, so th today we'll be talking about the, how you can win Q4 on Amazon and uh, the strategies that we are using. And uh, it will be <clears throat> very to the point and um, uh, actionable. Okay, so... I said we will talk about uh, why is Q4 different. It's really interesting. Uh, the strategies and tools that we use with our clients and how you can apply it today. Right. So try to keep it simple and useful. Okay. So it, it, it's a funny when I joined e-commerce uh, in 2015 as a first time e-commerce uh, seller. It was like I was uh, excited about all the Q4, Q4, Q4 rush. And uh, definitely for most of the brands, of course, there are some exceptions with uh, different like summer products. Q4, this is the main um, quarter to create most of the revenue and especially most of the profit. And um, uh, I had an interesting conversation with ChatGPT about like why, right? So I have my opinion, but then I, I get it from the internet and from the uh, AI. So uh, the main reason th th that I see now, it's, um, it's okay, it's definitely holiday shopping seasons. And I see people trying even to build a spending plan, a gift plan, and so on. So it's like it's a huge tradition. And another point that Q4, and uh, we will shortly, I show you how we can leverage this uh, specifically, the psychological uh, consumer expectation of deals. Everyone, they're looking for deals, but uh, of course the big brands, they clear deals on, on, on the holiday season, but most medium and small brands can afford themselves to leverage a little bit. Of course, it's as I said, it's a traditional, it's social expectations. We need to buy gifts already. Today we had a conversation with my wife on the holiday season, especially my birthday is the next day uh, in two days after the Christmas. So like, I have uh, extra presents uh, for the season as well. So we st we're starting to plan and I believe like most of the people already in, in, in this rush. And also, it's an end of the year bonuses and final financial adjustments. So you can, you know, get some expenses out of your taxes and so on. So, of course, it's a fear of missing out because if I don't get the deal now in Q4, and like again, uh, so our ideas as a brand on the e commerce and Amazon, especially is to try to be um, as effective as possible, taking in consideration all the stuff. Okay, so I see some messages in the chat. Nice, thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, what are the main issues that we see with uh, most of our uh, clients? And in my time, when I was... Uh, brand owner myself I, I i put it like in three buckets number one is the competition is cr increasing especially on q4 uh, because all other sellers or brands they, they have the expectation of high sale volume so they like bring uh like more advertisement spend trying to be more aggressive sometimes totally like wrong way sometimes right way 
but so so competition going higher and higher and uh, Amazon algorithm is um, I, I want to, to be quite polite but they don't really handle well all these demands they, they, they expect uh, as a sellers you probably see even the reports on the, on the high season of Q4 is the, you, you get the data with some delay you get some reports with delay sometimes you have some issues with seller central and so on and so on. So, and so they they really don't um, uh, get to the piece to manage all all the traffic and changes in keywords. And we also I show you how we play with it as well. And problem num number three is is all about uh, inventory management. Again, you know it's better than myself. It's like if you don't bring the inventory to Q4. Earlier, it will be very hard to bring it if you do it FBA. And, uh, uh, but if you bring it too much, you pay overpay for the storage. So you, it's very hard to find the balance. And uh, as the idea in my mind, if you brought inventory X, the idea is to sell it all on the Q4. Okay. And, uh, I show how we do it, so so we manage to get maximum revenue and profit for the inventory that we're able to bring to Amazon um, yeah, with all the limitation of the storage and so on. Okay, I hope it makes sense. And let's get to the uh, the subject like what do what we do in a navigator uh, as a main strategies uh, today. Probably I, I saw like you different other webinars or even uh, big uh, seller events about q4 how to make a ppc how to do everything and there is a lot of tactics uh, all over the place and uh, <clears throat> what we want to do uh, i want to show share our three main strategies that we use almost on all of our uh, accounts that we run and we did it in, in last year, we did it in the year before. Of course, they've been adjusted with the new tool that we have and so on. But this is a general uh, principles that uh, I think you have to do. And uh, like today was the last week of uh, October, and this is the right, right time to uh, implement it in your business. So uh, let's get to the number one. Uh, we call it prime the pump. So the main idea, I, I, I get shortly to this chart and explain what, what the thing. So the main idea is we need to uh, spend some money on some keywords before the, the traffic uh, came, right? So it's much cheaper to be aggressive on some keywords and get organic position before the season than in the season, right? And then we can get to this uh, amazing chart. So let me do some explanation. This is the uh, last year, one of our uh, products that we run. And uh, it's uh, from exactly like we see from the last week of October on the left to the uh, end of December. And uh, the green line is a spend. So uh, we started with relatively moderate spend, uh, but uh, uh, the blue line is the ACOS. Is, as you can see, in the beginning, October and uh, most of the November, we were relatively aggressive with the advertisement on this keyword. So we get ACOS. 30, 40, in like it's it's not profitable, of course. But the idea uh, we generated maximum amount of aggressive spend on on the important keywords, and we were able to grow organically. And when we get to the season, and you see it from the end of November and uh, like half of December, this is basically like you have three weeks of the, of the most uh, Christmas gift sales, 
Uh, first of all, it's, it's not shown on this chart, but we get a lot of organic sales. And even in here, our acres get to the normal uh, profitable level, and we were able to spend much, much more. And again, uh, today you can see uh, the influence of your uh, PPC spent on organic with SQP, search query performance. So we have some other webinars recorded about it. So if you haven't seen, you're, you're more than welcome. Right, so again, prime the palm is you try to spend aggressively on important keywords before the season. What is important keywords? Keywords that, for example, last year were converting very well for you, or you believe that uh, for this specific keyword will be high demand and your product should be there, right? Okay, uh, strategy number two, uh, we call it stay alert because you need to be focused on the keyword. As, as I mentioned before, uh, the Amazon algorithm they try to update all the data, all the searches, all the people that are coming, and it takes sometimes uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of data uh, crunching for them, and uh, sometimes we see different jumps in, in keywords. For example, it happened this year in in Father Days. Uh, one of our clients a very Father Day focused uh, product. So we were, what we were doing. We were doing managing it almost every hour, the main keywords, and the main keyword was uh, Father's Day gifts, right? And suddenly, out of the blue, the keyword that used to be number five, I think, like in, in, uh, in uh, search volume, jumped to the top, and uh, this is a Father's Day gifts from daughter. Right. Uh, I, I, I hope uh, when my daughter grow up, she will also give me a lot of presents. But uh, and the idea you need to monitor your keywords, especially in the like in, in Q4 is uh, three weeks of uh, end, uh, end of November to the middle of December. This is a high season. There is the most traffic and uh, we try to monitor all the keywords and even for small ones, we try to keep some campaigns, so you will see it from, from PPC as the fastest way, right? So if, uh, so if, like, if the more traffic came to some keyword, it will be a spike, and if you monitor it, you can really leverage, and for example, again, this is example from the father's days, but it will be exactly the same. This keyword was live for how many, like five, six days? Right, and if you don't really monitor it daily, you can you you can just you know lose this uh, spike of traffic and and all the value uh, that you can get. So even though you think you know all the keywords from the last year and everything is prepared, be aware that something can pop up. This is a this is yeah. And uh, strategy number three. Uh, again, uh, well, this is something related to inventory management and what we mentioned in the beginning, the people looking for a deal and the fear of missing out and all this uh, psychological stuff. So this is what we do uh, with, uh, in most cases. So, so idea is smart pricing strategies to try to be use your price to kind of uh, manage the inventory and demand and traffic and profitability, everything. So, of course, if you are a well-known brand and huge uh, awareness, it doesn't for you, but for medium and small brands, it's amazing strategy. And um, let me explain the chart. It's a chart from Kipa. Uh, so what we can see is this um, pink line is the price. So it's basically buy box price for the product. And as you can see, uh, in the November, we put price is like 90.99, and we try to push it hard as, as uh, in the strategy number one. So we'll try to push it 
be aggressive. And then you see BSR getting a little bit better, but most importantly, organic is growing. And then when the season starts, especially in the December, like there is a more and more demand coming, and we try to forecast like uh, when the demand is, uh, will drop, and we just increase price daily or sometimes, sometimes even few times a day with the small steps. You can see this kind of a ladder coming up uh, with the price and even the support with the lightning deals, but lightning deals is a different story. But we can raise the price and still get the, all these benefits of Q4 traffic when people coming and they're looking for the deals. And if our products is uh, in good position organically and invisible, they will buy the price elasticity getting less, less uh, sensitive. So it's like it's much easier to raise the price when the rush started. And uh, this is uh, super important. Again, if we will not do it in this case, we probably left maybe 100K on the table. So it's uh, in this specific case, it was a huge success. Okay, uh, so let's get back again. Uh, strategy number one, prime the pump, boost your organics before. So you like be aggressive with the advertisement starting from today till the middle of November, right? And from the middle of November, by the end uh, or like middle of December or when, whenever it stops, be very careful and stay alert with all your keywords. And uh, don't shy to raise the price, right? To get the leverage of the, all the profit that uh, everyone expects on Q4. Okay, uh, so... This is the main stuff that I, I wanted to bring. I hope it was uh, clear and to the point. Um, if you want to talk with me, this is, you can scan this. Um, oops. You can scan this QR code and um, talk, uh, book a call with me so we can look in your specific case. And um, yeah, I see some questions. Uh, Let's see the question. Yes. How utilizing SQPD in 2023 can refine keyword targeting and optimize ad spend for me in Q4? Uh, exactly. As I said uh, on the prime, the palm. Yeah. This is uh, the strategy as it uh, can be measured with SQP. So basically what you're trying to do is uh, the first week that you're very aggressive with your advertisement and it's not profitable, uh, we measure it on the weekly basis, basis with SQP if we can see the, the, the clear connection, uh, how our impression share and click share and uh, uh, purchase share are growing according to our spend. Yeah, so Again, I'm super excited about this SQP tool as it's really make our work measurable because before we did the same for the last, I believe, five years, but all our estimation were based on keyword trackers and like guesses and so on and so on. So, so now SQPD is, is a must-have tool. And by the way, this is the thing I wanted to show you on the last, uh, we working on Ad Organics. This is a new tool where we put connection between your PPC spend and SQP report. So I still don't have a screenshot because it's work in progress, uh, but you can see a few of our previous uh, webinars about SQP where we um, explain how you can do it yourself, but it's a, a lot of data manipulation so we're trying to build the tool. And if you're interested, you can go by this QR code and uh, sign up uh, to the wish list. And we will get back to you as soon as it's ready. Uh, 
I have one more question. It's coming. Can you tell me what inside Prometheus can be particularly revealing or transformative for my PPC campaign this year? A again, uh, we have another webinar about SQP, but in, in, in a nutshell, there are like few main cases. Number one is uh, you can understand how your PPC spend influence your organic keyword by keyword. Number two, on every keyword, you can see your competitors' impression share and click share, and you can build your strategy. Like al you already outrank your competitors, or maybe there is like you need a little bit more push, or so on. So it's like really understand the top 10 players and how you can uh, beat them. Yeah. So this is. Yeah, I'm super about excited about this SQP dashboard, search query performance, and I hope you will, you will as well. Okay, so again, thank you everyone for, for taking the time. And if you see it in the recording, you, you miss the opportunity to ask your questions. And uh, yeah, and let's hope for Q4 for everyone to have amazing Q4 this year and good sales to everyone and uh, yeah see you next time thank you